Welcome to Nico Props. I'm Chris Fry, also known as Nicodemus. On uh, today's video, we're going to be exploring the Benny 4 by Nova 3D. Uh, this is the RGB version, and I've also got the mono version, so we're going to do a comparison of those. Um, there's also uh, an interesting quirk between the two, um, <clears throat> which I'm going to kind of reveal a bit later on in the video. Um, also remember, if you got value from this, please do subscribe um, to the video, like, hit that notifications bell um, so that you can you don't miss out on the latest videos. Okay, uh, I would also like to clarify that um, I bought these machines myself. This isn't a sponsored video. This is they didn't send me these machines or anything. So um, this is my honest opinion, and I you know it, 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 it's just what it is. So. Let's talk about some of the shared features of these machines. So both of them have Wi-Fi enabled. Um, I have found actually with the Wi-Fi, it's not great with mesh networks, but that's not a problem because you've got a USB at the back of the machine, um, which is good. They also comes with a USB drive there. Um, and uh, it also has the ability to plug in a LAN cable. Uh, the both machines have a 4.3 inch color touch screen, internal storage of about eight gig, which is you know plenty for the models. Uh, when you plug the USB in, you have effectively copy the to the local machine's drive so that you can run it from locally. Uh, build platforms. Um, now the build platforms are slightly different on my machines. Um, because I bought this this machine a, a while ago, um, they've actually changed the way that the uh, platform works, um, which is the same as the mono. So they've both got the same platform, although mine don't look like it. So no criticism on the video there. Um, the resin vat um, has little feet on the bottom of them on both vats, and they're both milled out of um, aluminium or aluminium for our American guys. Um, that means you can take that vat out and uh, essentially put it down on a table without having to worry about the FEP film getting uh, scratched or anything. Now then, let's get into the differences. So let's start off with build volume. RGB machine has a build volume of 130 by 70 by 150 millimeters. I will put the text there to show you. Now the mono, has a slightly larger build volume, still 130, but it's 130, 80 by 150. So there's an extra uh, millimeter, uh, 10 millimeters in there. Both have a 2K screen. Um, the resolution on the mono is slightly higher because obviously it's a, uh, a slightly bigger build volume, so, but it's marginable. Um, now, something interesting, the UV light in this particular machine, um, because of the mono screen, it's going to allow an, uh, an extra 3.9% uh, UV light through the LCD screen. Now, it's, it's got something to do with the arrangement of the pixels. I'm not going to get into that. Uh, frankly, I don't care um, how it works as long as it works, you know, and it's more efficient than this version. That's all I care about. Screen life. Now, it is a consumable product. A lot of people don't realize this about resin machines. Um, and the screen life on this machine is uh, 800 hours of usage. Um, that's, uh, that's the RGB, but you get 2,000 hours, nearly three times more on the mono. So that's obviously the improvement there. Now, UV light intensity, um, we're looking at one seven, uh, sorry, 1700, should I say, microwatts per cubic centimeter. But we've got 3,500 microwatts per cubic centimeter in there. So all of that information, and, and, and when I dug through the information on, on the actual machine itself, it feels like some of the information is conflicting. Uh, when you read it, so it can be very confusing. So what it actually translates to is you get a slightly larger build volume on the mono compared to the G, uh, RGB. 
The Mono has a very slightly more powerful UV light, which means exposure time is roughly half for the Mono compared to the RGB. Um, I usually run this at six and we've been running it at 2.5 on this machine. So uh, I do actually have a problem with that as well, um, where essentially when I was running my tests, um, the document that Nova 3D provide when you buy the machine is a PDF document they send you with some resin vat information um, and exposure times. Now that said two seconds. When I actually loaded up the software, it was pre-programmed with 2.5 seconds. And we're going to talk about that in a moment because that's something to do with the quirks. So, um, other differences, I mean, the mono, mono screen, you know, allows for better transfer of light to the resin, which is obviously a good thing. So, <sighs> screens in resin printing are considered a consumer, as I said before, and it will need to be replaced normally by yourself. So with a screen that's, uh, with a mono screen, you won't have to do it as often because it's gonna last longer, which is great. And also, because of the transmissions of light and the additional, you know, um, the UV bulb intensity being increased as well, you're looking at an almost 33% improvement, according to the manufacturer, um, over the RGB. Now I wanted to test that, so what we're gonna, what I decided to do was dual these two printers on the same print, um, doing uh, a demon head, which is on the um, uh, myminifactory.com. Link to it in the description below. Let's have a look at that time lapse. Okay, so that was the time lapse. Um, obviously, you can see. Um, the the mono one uh, obviously so the test print I chose as I said before was a demon skull let's have a look at that um, and you can see it's, it's very detailed now I just printed the same thing on the say on the machines now we spoke a minute ago uh, before the time lapse actually about me changing the time from two seconds to 2.1 now I did run this test before uh, on two seconds um, but it ended up causing this. So that is basically an underexposure and it separated. So um, now let's have a look at the print times of these things. So essentially RGB five hours 52 minutes right and four hours and 56 minutes for the mono. That is nearly an hour faster. That's not 33%. According to my calculations, that is 15.9% speed improvement over the RGB, but there is a caveat to that. So, this is where we get onto that quirk. Now, we were talking earlier about the software quirk, right? Now, what the problem is, is with the Benny, Benny um, 4 RGB, we'll work with uh, Chai 2 Box um, with the Nova 3D plugging installed, okay? Gonna be linking to all this stuff in the bottom, right? Now, the Mono will only work with Nova 3D's own software, which is Nova Maker software. It's called Nova Maker, right? So, which has the lowest setting of two seconds on the stop timer for each layer, okay? Now, if you could use Tutu Box or reduce this setting to zero, I'm sure it would come in around 33% faster. So, I mean, your choice is, you, is you, obviously you run the, this test with uh, this, the RGB machine through Nova Maker as well, but it just, it would just increase the time for this to actually print. So it's not a fair comparison. So, but with the mono, you can't use it with Chai 2 Box. It doesn't work with it. I tried it and I had all sorts of problems. I've had to use Nova Maker. Now what I did do for the test print was I produced all the supports and the raft and everything else and the, or skate or whatever you want to call it. Um, in Chai Tea Box. I then exported it for the RGB. I then saved an STL file from it or exported an STL file for, from it for the mono. And then all I did inside Nova Maker was actually just set the settings for the exposure times. So the file and structure of the actual um, thing should be the same. So, um, by the way, also for this test, Wi-Fi was not used. I used the USBs for it, so that it's all on board, so we're not gonna get that Wi-Fi lag. 
Okay. Um, if you're watching this and uh, you know you're, you're reasonably new to uh, resin printing, maybe you haven't got yours yet. I'm going to have a couple of links to videos about each of these machines a little bit in you know separately and some other machines as well. But you'll also need some extra stuff that um, that's very handy. One of the main things: paper towels. You, you will go through so much of this. Go to Costco or wherever and get a load of these or, or order them from Amazon. Link in the description below. Um, nitrile gloves. These are fantastic. Now, I would definitely recommend these. Don't think, oh, I'm just going to do this quickly, right? I did that literally with these test prints. I got some on my fingers. I, I did what I needed to do and then I went and washed my hands, right? Um, my fingers are quite sore now. Um, I'm not sure if it'll actually show up on the camera, we'll give that a go. But um, I, I had a, a, a reaction to this. So gloves, very important. Now, IPA, isopropyl alcohol. I've got a little spray bottle of this. Comes with, these spray bottles come with the machines, but you've got to fill them up with isopropyl alcohol. You will probably also want a funnel and a filter. Now, I've got these on Amazon. Um, for filtering the resin from the vat back in when you want to change colors and that kind of stuff, right? Uh, it does come, the machines do come with some of these kind of paint filters um, and, and, some, and a couple of nitrile gloves, but they're not going to last you for ages. Um, so yeah, those are the kind of must-haves. You'll also get some FEP film when you buy the machine as well, which is good, and a small bottle of grey resin. So that's obviously all the bits and pieces about the tests and that, but what are my thoughts on it? What, what do I think? So, well, let's go look, quickly look at the pricing. So uh, at, the mo at the time of filming this on Amazon, this machine, the RGB, is about £329. It's a, roughly the same in USD, but currently the US is waiting stock. It's going to be in stock soon, so keep an eye on the links in the description below. Um, same applies with the Benny. Uh, for mono as well that's out of stock currently in the US as well but it will be in stock soon uh, and this is priced in the UK at 399 um, pounds GBP um, in the US it's likely to be a similar sort of pricing I asked um, I do have a contact actually at, uh, at Nova 3D so I asked them uh, about the US stock and they did say that it's on its way and it will be there soon so keep an eye on the links Personally, with the price considered as well, um, I, I think that the Nova 3D have made, have made changes to the mono, um, resulting in decent speed improvements. Of, and it's well worth the extra cost, in my opinion, over the, the RGB. Frankly, if they continue with the RGB, I'd be, I, think, I think they would be silly. You might as well just, just have the other machine, frankly. Um, but, you know, extra you know by reducing that amount of time and as they say time is money so as a reward for you guys talking about time sticking it all the way to the end of the video right i'm going to be giving away a couple of these resin printed skulls um from uh, from this video uh, to make make sure that you link uh sorry you like and subscribe the, to the videos uh pop a comment and let me know what you would like to use a resin printer for. Um, and winners will be picked at random, I guess, from the comments and stuff. Um, check out my other videos as well, because I'm going to be trying to give away some other cool stuff. And in one of these resin 3D printing videos, I'm going to be giving away a resin 3D printer. Stay tuned for more videos.